Hello and welcome to MusePen.com. In this video, we are going to learn on how to create multilingual sites using our Google Translate widget. So let's go ahead and first of all add this widget. To add this widget, you need to download it from our MusePen.com website. And once you get this MusePen underscore Google Translate dot mili file, just double click on it and it would be added to the library panel under this folder. Now just go ahead and place it correctly as we always do and uh, we'll delete, delete this folder. Now we have the translate widget ready with us. What we need to do simply drag it and drop it wherever I want to place it. Now by default it would open with some options. Let me just get rid of those for a moment. So now the question is how does this widget work? For that you always need to go to the options panel and you need to give give it some values okay select the widget go to the options panel of that and select the page language as currently my page is in english i have selected english but in case your default page language is something else open the drop down and select the language if you are missing any language do send us an email into the email i will be giving in the end of the video and we'll add it into the future updates so once you have the page language selected, you need to decide which language or what all languages this widget should show at the time of uh, adding it to the page. So for an example, I want all the Google supported languages. Okay, so I would just leave all these options blank and you would get all the Google supported languages into this drop down. Let's see how does it look. Let's go to preview tab. Here we go. We have the drop down. So this shows a whole list of Google supported uh, languages that you can convert it into. So let's say you want to convert it into uh, Finnish language. Here we go. All possible words are converted. French. Here we go. So this is the way you can create a multilingual site. Now we have added few more options to make it more customizable for you. For an example, you are just targeting on three countries and their language. So why to keep give this big list to your customer that makes page view but bad. So let's say you are targeting for Spanish, Italian and French. So now let's go ahead and how does this looks look at the drop down all the options are gone and we only have french italian and spanish okay so let's go back to design and let's see what all options this widget offers next option is display mode how do you want this box to be displayed right now it's vertical so let's go let's check how does inline horizontal look and you can also place it anywhere you want. Okay, so let's go ahead and preview it. This again, language options and everything. Let's go back to design mode and let's go ahead and select in line drop down. That error must have been a temporary error. Okay, now it looks good. Now let's go ahead and check it into the preview. How does that look? And this one is my personal favorite one. I like this very much. Okay. So let's talk about other options. That is automatic display and multi-language. So multi-language is in case uh, like something in, uh, in case you have uh, multiple languages used. So you need to notify Google so that translation do not get affected by that. So you can check this one if it is checked then it would be uh, like a better advantage in case you have multiple languages. So for, let me uncheck it because my language only has one language. Now the next option is automatic display. So it, it just automatically displays translation banner to users speaking language other than the language of your page. It's self-explanatory, okay? And one more important option, let's say you are tracking your site with the help of Google Analytics and you also want to track your translation traffic. So you can just check this option and add your Google Analytics tracking ID or the property ID and you would 
start getting reports about this also your translation traffic also and one more option that we have for you that is disable logo let's say and let me tell you it only works for inline uh, vertical and horizontal so if you have inline vertical selected and you do not want to see this logo just check this box and let's see how does it look here we go now logo so you can leave your custom message above this and then you can use it okay so this is what we all uh, what we have for you in this widget so feel free to send us an email if you have any question or if you found any bug about this widget so that we can uh, add, add it correct it into our future updates our email is contact at newspan.com so thank you very much for watching this video enjoy Muse, enjoy Muse Pen free widgets. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Bye bye.